Today we're going to be talking about some fun food stuff because I recently went to the Food and Nutrition Conference and Expo and I brought some stuff home to show you. So I'm hanging here on my couch today. This is not a typical filming location for me, except for maybe live streams. But I wanted to sit here because I have a lot of fun food stuff to show you and I needed a place where I could kind of spread everything out uh, so it was easy for me to access it and bring it up and show it to you on camera and kind of organize everything. So that's what we're doing today. And I recently went to FENCI, the Food and Nutrition Conference and Expo. That is the national meeting conference and expo for dietitians. And so I went there this year. It was in DC this year. I live in Virginia. This is my second time going to FENCI. I went once as a student. Um, so this is my first time actually as being a dietitian, which is pretty cool. But it was close by this year, so I definitely wanted to make it happen and go. And also, and a nonprofit organization that I work with, the Dr. Yum Project, was going as well. So I also was working with them in the booth and also, you know, going to sessions and checking out the expo and all of that. So I'm going to tell you a little bit about my experience and show you the stuff that I got for those of you who have never been to Fancy or maybe don't even know what it is um, or what it's like. It's a really cool event for dietitians because there are sessions where you can go and hear on all kinds of different topics. I mean, there were sessions on intermittent fasting. There were sessions on how to do food demos live in person, on television, on social media. There are sessions about uh, communicating science information. There are sessions about all kinds of different things, medical things, um, how to promote nutrition messages, and all other kinds of issues that dietitians are interested in and dietitians want to learn more about. So you have all of that kind of learning continuing education part of it but there's also a huge expo hall and most conferences and conventions have an expo but for fancy it's really really big because such a big part of what dietitians do has to do with food right so uh, the expo is gigantic there are all kinds of different vendors there you know the nonprofit I work with had a table there to let people know about our resources and tools that they can use but I mean there are medical companies there for dietitians who work in hospitals and maybe need certain thickeners for patients who need thickened liquids or certain nutritional supplements or things like that but there's also food companies just sharing about their different products there are food industry kind of groups so you know the almond growers or the honey board or um, you know any fruit or vegetable you can think of there's all of these different food and nutrition vendors there and they have so many different cool things that dietitians can check out and try and information and all that kind of stuff so it's really fun and it's a huge part of the experience of going to fancy and one fun thing about it is that you get to try a lot of different food uh, there's all kinds of different samples like I said there's such a broad range of different types of food companies there it's a lot of fun and it's great for dietitians because it gives us a chance to try a bunch of different products because there's a lot of different things out there especially for people who have special dietary needs and also just things that maybe me as a dietitian you know I can't go in the store and try every single thing so it's nice to be able to try things from different brands um, see what they're offering how it stands up nutritionally also to see how it tastes and all kinds of things like that so then when I come back and I'm talking to my one-on-one -on -one clients or I'm talking with you I am a little bit more knowledgeable about all the different options out there and maybe I can also find out about brands that seem great or maybe ones that I tried and they weren't so great or they don't taste so good or whatever so it's a really great chance for dietitians to just learn and try and explore a lot of the options that are out there so with all that said, I had a ton of fun. Um, it was a bit of a whirlwind, uh, but we'll talk about that in a second. I'm gonna show you the stuff that I got first. So a lot of the food companies, you just have kind of little bits and bites to sample. So I tried a lot more stuff than what I have to show you. Um, but some of the companies do send you out with full size products that you can grab and take home, which I think is awesome because it gives me an opportunity to try stuff when I'm at home and be a little bit more thoughtful and also just have the full size thing. Um, and I don't know, have a little bit more time with it and to show it to you. So uh, let's just start off. So one thing I got are these, I've seen these in the store before. You may have had them. They're a dehydrated apple product. Um, and this is the cinnamon flavor. And I feel like these are becoming more popular. These kinds of like fruit and veggie snacks that are dehydrated or freeze dried or whatever. Um, so this type of thing is fun. I saw a lot of this at Fancy. That's another thing about Fancy is you can kind of start to see a lot of the food trends that are popping up because you'll see things popping up more and more. You'll see things kind of common threads running through the expo hall. So 
Um, these were there. There was also a company that did like kale chips and beet chips. They didn't have full size ones that they were giving out, but I did get to try one of their beet chips that was pretty good. So I just think it's fun to see, you know, different ways for people to eat fruits and vegetables. And this is something that I feel like in the past five years has been getting bigger and bigger, this kind of category of dehydrated and freeze dried food. So I got some of these. Um, something else that's fun. Now, this is a brand that I already love so much Wild Planet. They have um, canned seafood, all kinds of different ones, and I just think stuff is great and I was talking to the lady there and we were chatting and I was like I love you you're so wonderful um but I got a little pack of their tuna and I like their tuna I've used their salmon before their sardines are great um so these are just it's just a you know a canned seafood brand and you know gives you some options and the nice thing about canned seafood is it can be a little bit more approachable for people especially if you're worried about cooking seafood you don't really have the know-how it's nice and convenient it's non-perishable so it's a good thing to have on hand when you're in a pinch so I got a little packet of that. Um, oh, I thought this was really fun. So the almond board was there, the California almond board. And one thing they had were these little tins for almonds. So the tin, first off, has a super cute design. It is the perfect size to hold a serving of almonds. How precious is that? Um, you know, and obviously whenever you're eating almonds, you can eat however many you want. But I just thought it was such a cute idea. It's like such a portable tin to use to put a handful of nuts in or something or just to put anything in really. But I thought this was a really cute idea um, on their part. And that's another fun thing about Fences. You get to see some of the different uh, ways that vendors set up their booths and the things that they're giving away and things like that. And it's fun to see some of the creative choices that um, people make which is really fun. Another fun thing that was there is uh, the cranberry, Ocean Spray Cranberry people were there and they had a full on cranberry bog. It was huge, you could walk in it, you could get on, put on waders and take pictures and everything. Great promotional strategy I think on their part. They've done it for a couple years now I think um, and it's a really cool experience for people to have and obviously people wanna take pictures for their Instagram. Uh, I thought that was really fun and I don't know, it's cool to see things like that. Okay, um, let's talk about some chocolatey things. So this was actually a booth that was next to the booth I was at, the Dr. Yum booth. Um, they're a smaller company, they're called Flava Bar. They're chocolate bars, but they are really high in coca flavanols, which are kind of the, the good stuff, I guess, <laughs> in chocolate. Um, but it's interesting because I guess the beans they get, they source beans that are naturally higher and then also the way they prepare their bars, it helps to retain the cloak of coca flavanols. Uh, kind of interesting from a nutrition and food science perspective, but also they just taste good. Um, from what the ones that I tried, I thought were super tasty. So I got a couple of those bars and they were yummy. So interesting, fun things. Also chocolate. Unreal. You may have seen these before. They're like in, I've seen them in Target before. I've seen them at Wegmans. Uh, they're one of those brands that they're around, but they're not everywhere. They're a candy chocolate kind of company, but their whole thing is that they make a lot of your favorite types of chocolates and candies, but they do it with a little bit better quality ingredients. Um, so they're fun. These, this is their dark chocolate almond butter cup. I just dropped this one on the floor. So dark chocolate almond butter, yummy. And this is their dark chocolate peanut butter. And they had some other products there I hadn't tried too. They have kind of like a chocolate coated candy, like M&M style candy. They have a lot of different options. I think their packaging is also really adorable. So I got a couple of these for when I'm looking for a peanut butter and almond butter cup. Um, oh, this was something, that's the other thing. You get to find out about maybe new lines of products that companies have. Um, either that you just haven't seen before or maybe new things that they're launching, which is really fun. So Enjoy Life is a company that I think of as like making chocolate chips. Um, allergy friendly top chocolate chips. They're gluten free, they're dairy free, they're egg free. They're free of the top allergens. So if someone has an allergy concern or if you're vegan or something like that, it's a product that can be used for people who need something like that. And so, you know, they're a great brand, especially if someone has allergies. Uh, but they also have some other products. Now, I don't know if all of these are new. I've never seen these before in my store, but I just thought it was interesting, something to know about if you do need allergy free products. Um, they had this kind of like chewy chocolate bar. Um, this one is called a crispy grain and seed bar and it's a chocolate marshmallow flavor. Uh, this is like a breakfast bar, maple fig flavor, and this is a little like nut and fruit type thing. I haven't eaten any of these obviously because I've got them all here. I wanted to show them to you, uh, but just kind of a fun idea, just something I didn't know about. So if you are looking for like a bar or something and you need something that's allergy free or allergy friendly, uh, 
these are out there. And I think it totally makes sense for them thinking like on a company standpoint, they're making these all allergy friendly or allergy free chocolate chips. Uh, it makes sense for them to have other products that are kind of in that vein or in that line. Um, so it's interesting. And then, oh, this is not a food item, but kind of a fun thing. Uh, the Egg Nutrition Center was there and they had these little egg poacher things. They're, I guess like silicone, they're still in the package. Obviously I haven't used them, so I can't speak to how well they work, but I wanted to try them. I don't poach a lot of eggs, but if you're into egg poaching, I thought these were kind of fun. They're just little, I guess you drop the egg in this to help keep it all together if you have trouble with that. Um, so just a fun kind of like little kitchen gadget to try out. Now the thing that I am most excited about that I got is stuff from Siggy's. So Siggy's is a yogurt company and they seem to love dietitians, uh, which I appreciate <laughs> um, uh, any company that loves dietitians because I am one and I think we're pretty awesome. But their booth um, is usually a big hit, especially because when you're at Fancy and you're trying a bunch of different things, um, a lot of it, not all of it is sweet, but a lot of it tends to be kind of sweet or dry products, right? Because people think about the companies bringing the stuff in. You want things that can ship well when they're shipping from wherever they're coming from and that are not going to be not, they're going to be non-perishable. So it's a lot of like bars and crackers and not even crackers, but just things like that, that are kind of dry or dehydrated. Sometimes they can start to lead towards the sweet side and Siggy's has yogurt there and Siggy's yogurt is great because even their ones that are sweetened are not like super sickeningly sweet like a lot of yogurts are so I love the Siggy's booth because uh it's a way to get something that's not super sweet and also has some water content in it because it's yogurt it's refrigerated so it's a little bit it, I feel like their booth is kind of special there, there are some booths there that have refrigerated things LaCroix was there they had you know LaCroix for people to get which was nice uh but it does tend to lean towards the bars and the snacky things so um, a couple things from Siggy's that I had never tried before and I was really excited about. The first one are these little flip cups. I mean, this kind of style is not but I didn't know that Siggy's had these. I guess they're a little bit newer, um, but they have all kinds of different kinds. This one is vanilla yogurt with almonds and dried cherries. So you have the, you know, the kind of dry ingredients in here and the yogurt here, and then you flip and mix it in. There's a fig one. Um, I tried that. That was really good. And so these are cool too, because these, um, don't have added, the sides don't have added sugars, which is interesting. So again, it's going to be something that if it's not going to be super sickeningly sweet like a lot of the yogurt things can kind of become almost like an ice cream or like a dessert type of feel and I don't like my yogurt like that. I want it to, you know, not be super sweet. So these are fun um, and I'm liking them so far. So, you know, if you are looking for something like that, I thought that was cool. And also, this is a newer thing that they're launching. Um, this is their flavored yogurts with no added sugar. So they have a blue lid like this. So Siggy's has plain yogurt that you can get that's unsweetened. They have their flavored yogurts that are lightly sweetened, but now they're adding flavored yogurts that are not sweetened. And I thought this was smart because I had never thought of this. Like when I think about product categories in the grocery store, if it's a flavored yogurt, then it's also going to be a sweetened yogurt. And I think this is a really smart idea. Now we'll see how it does in the marketplace and if consumers are into it, but to have, maybe you want a flavored yogurt. You don't just want plain yogurt and you're on the go, but you don't want added sugars. This is so cool. So they have, this is the peach mango flavor. Um, I have not actually tried this flavor, uh, but I did try, there was a banana cinnamon one I thought was good. So just something to be on the lookout for. It's new, so you may or may not see it in your stores or maybe it's something to ask for if you're interested in. But I thought it was cool. And you guys know that I mostly do just like a big tub of plain yogurt. Um, I use the maple cool creamery yogurt a lot because it's just cheaper to get the big tub of plain and then just mix in whatever you want. But the individual yogurt Yogurt cups are nice to have if you need something that you can use on the go or whatever. Um, I'm not against them. They're just not my personal preference for my own house, but I do enjoy a lot of the Siggy's flavors. Everything I try from them is good. Um, and they have a lot of whole milk yogurt options as well. And in the flavored ones, because sometimes if you're looking at flavored yogurts, it's hard to find ones that aren't fat free. Uh, so I just thought these were some cool new products. Another thing, so going back to what I was talking about earlier, sorry, I'm knocking all my stuff over. What I was talking about earlier about how some of the booths are like super on point with the branding and the promotion and from like a business aspect, I just think that's really cool. Siggy's was crushing it this year with the bags. So just so you know, 
a lot of the vendors give out tote bags as like a freebie item in addition to food things or whatever because since dietitians are going around and collecting you know, you're going to all of these vendors you're getting a lot of different food samples and things you're also getting a lot of information whether it's um, handouts with like recipe ideas using the products or it's um, information like if it's something like the almond board they might have information about you know the nutrients in almonds and different things like either that you can use in your office or just for your own personal information different handouts things like that um, just different pieces of literature material that dietitians are collecting and they're collecting all these snacks and other things like the egg poacher and whatever so a lot of the people give out tote bags with their branding on it and I collected a few this year but the Siggy's bags look at this oh I'm knocking over some look at this it is like a nice canvas tote it has this cute little blueberry design. I mean, put a fruit or a vegetable on, any, on anything and the dietitians will love it. That is the truth. And it just has Siggy's down here. They also had another one that was a little bit more minimalist. It was just black and white. It was the same canvas, but then it just had like a little outline of a yogurt cup and it had, I don't know, maybe like rows of three or whatever. It was just very kind of grid-like and just said Siggy's on the bottom. I love that one too. It was a little bit, I was like, oh, which one do I want? But I ended up going for the blueberry. They were giving these out and each day they had a limited amount and I mean, they were going like crazy. Uh, there were a couple other people that were giving out like nicer canvas totes. This is the one that I happened to get. I think this is so cute. And it has Siggy's on the back too. So from a branding and promotions perspective, I think this is really smart. And like, this is a nice tote that I want to carry around. And Pornji must like it too. My cat's here meowing at me. What, honey? What? Do you like the bag? I know, it's so cute. So I'm excited about this. Um, and I just had a great time at Fency overall. So a little bit more information about the expo and my experience. It was a little wild because I was there as an attendee, but I was also working uh, with the Dr. Yum project. So it was a lot of running back and forth and a lot of talking and meeting people, which was fun, but you know, also long days and kind of exhausting. It's a little bit of a whirlwind, whirlwind weekend, but it was a ton of fun as well. I also got to meet some of you, which was really cool, um, which I was hoping that I, you know, would maybe meet some viewers there because it is a dietitian thing and I know some of my viewers are dietitians or dietetic students so that was really fun and if you ever see me side note out somewhere definitely come say hi because I would love to meet you and say hi to you um, and you know get to see your face in real life and uh, hear a little bit about you and all that kind of stuff so that was really fun really exciting and overall it was just a great experience also with regards to the expo I started thinking kind of at the end of the conference and also as I was coming home and then the days after about brands that I was surprised to not see there like I'm surprised that there weren't a ton of kombucha companies there or even just one kombucha company. The only kombucha that I saw was Kavita and that's because they are under PepsiCo and PepsiCo had a booth there. Cause you know, a lot of those big food companies own a lot of the small brands that you see in the grocery store. PepsiCo owns Kavita, so they had their kombucha out there, but that was the only kombucha I saw. I didn't see GTs or Health Aid and, you know, or any of the smaller brands, but especially those two, I feel like are the biggest ones, at least for me, that are available wildly, widely, especially GT's kombucha, I mean, I can even find that in Walmart. And if you're in Walmart, then that means you've got some broad reach and a lot of people are seeing your product. And it also means that it's popular enough to be carried in Walmart and kind of has that kind of general public exposure. And a lot of dietitians like kombucha. So I was surprised that they weren't there. I mean, imagine if one of those kombucha companies had a booth and they had all of their flavors, especially GT's has such a wide range of flavors and a lot of flavors that you can't necessarily find in every market. So to be able to give people an opportunity to try maybe the flavors that are a little bit harder to find. I found that shocking. Um, some other things like some different yogurt companies, you know, I was surprised to not see more yogurt companies there. Um, also Epic Bars. I mean, they are a pretty popular product. They're a savory bar. They're a meat-based bar, um, which there are not a lot of. So I was surprised to not see them there, but you know, we can talk about all kinds of food companies. There's a lot of brands that, you know, I see in the grocery store and I think, huh, I wonder why they aren't at 
fancy in the expo hall but it could be a couple things one maybe they just aren't even aware that it's a thing that they could or should be at uh, two maybe they are aware of it but they just don't see it as valuable or important for their business I mean every business is different as far as their budget and how they want to prioritize things and maybe they don't have the money or resources to do that kind of big expo or maybe they would rather go to a different expo like a natural products expo or something else and maybe they're not too worried about the dietitians um, and that is a fact factor too like there are certain companies uh, that really seem to value the expertise of dietitians and hire a lot of dietitians and want dietitians to be aware of their products as options for patients or clients and other brands that aren't that worried about that it's not important to them or it's not you know high up on their list or they don't value it or whatever so that's a factor as well as whether they care about dietitians knowing about their products but that's something I always think about um, coming out of an event like that is like who should have been there in my mind but wasn't there so that's my fancy experience it was a whirlwind weekend I wish I'd had more time to do the expo stuff I kind of had to rush through it but I'm still glad I got to see so many different um you know food brands and organizations and different people talk to different people try different stuff and bring some goodies home to show you as well so I hope you liked hearing a little bit about it and if you happen to be new here and you want more healthy eating tips and nutrition info and videos like this one then make sure that you subscribe because eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle really doesn't have to be complicated and I want to show you how to do it. And if you want to watch some more videos, I have a couple linked over here that you might like. Thanks for watching. I hope you're having a great day and I'll talk to you next time.